Hey everybody, welcome back to FTG Killer Bees. Today, we are going to light a dumpster on fire. That's right, Masters 25. Bye. Look at Jay speaking at us there. He's the only card in the set worth that'll make this box worth it. Uh, it'll be a couple days and it'll be six month anniversary of this coming out, so. Before we get to the dumpster fire, let's start with the little trash can fire. Iconic Masters. What was good in this? Anything? I don't remember. Probably nothing. Alright, so we have to keep these ones separate. Alright. Prologon Monument. Coordinated Assault. Pristine Talisman. And Charmbreaker Devils. Ugh. Oh, and there is a rather Oof. interesting foil dress. Hmm. That actually looks cool. With the foil on the spiky needles. Yeah. Windfall. Eh, yeah, windfall is okay. Dragon Tempest. That sucks. Dragon Loft Idol. Um, I don't even know what that is. Uh, as long as you control Dragon, it gets plus one, plus one, and has Flying and Trample. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Oh, all right. For all that Dragon Tribal people do. I guess. Day of the Dragons. What's with the dragons? I <laughs> don't know. Uh, foil Thought Scour. Hmm. Apparently, there must be a foil in each pack. This one? I don't remember. Thought Scour is pretty good. All right, Mishra's Bobble. Eh, that's not bad. Monastery Swiss Swift Spear. Indulgent Tormentor. And Knight of Souls Betrayal. What is that? All creatures get minus one, minus one for four. And it's legendary, so you can't have more than one. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> Foil Borderland. Marauder. Yeah. All right, well, that was a bust, which we knew it would be. So <laughs> on to 25. Uh, Get the matches and the gasoline. Light the dumpster. Is it, is it Tree of Redemption that's so bad? Yes. They pre reprinted Tree of Redemption. You don't know what that is. It is a 013 that taps and says, Exchange your life total with Tree of Redemption's toughness. That card is so bad, they were local game stores guaranteeing the no tree. If you opened a pack in the store and you got a tree, they would take the pack back and give you a fresh one. <laughs> I don't think our local store did that, unfortunately. They did. Did they really? Mm -hmm. Good for them. No wonder we could spend so much money there. Lightning. Interesting. Heavy Arbalist. Brian Elemental. And Laquatus' Champion? Okay. Enters the battlefield, target player loses six life. When it leaves the battlefield, target player gains six life. That can be regenerated. Six three for six. And a foil. Path of peace. Hmm. I'm hoping for Daddy Jace. Brood Hatch. <laughs> Red Elemental Blast. Ordeal of Heliod. And Pact of Negation. Hey, there we go. Pact of Negation is good. It's worth something. And probably not worth much, but a foil counterspell.
Congregate. Classic. Invigorate. Hmm. And Genju of the Spires. Summoner's Pact. The Green Pact. That's not nearly as good as Ooh. the Blue Pact. And we have a foil <clears throat> rare. Rurik Thar, the Unbowed. Hmm. Vigilance Reach. When it attacks each combat of Able, whenever a player casts a non-creature spell, Rurik Thar deals six damage to that player. Hmm. Hmm. Could be a good commander card. Another heavy. <clears throat> Ravenous Chupacabra. Hmm? Cabra Predator. The Legend of the Chupanibre. <laughs> hey, a filter land. Yeah. Those are... Rugged Prairie. Those are good for a... Uh, are they still good for a tenor? They might be, and... The cat just tipped over his cat tree. <laughs> Again. All right. Foyo Kavu Palimer. Come on. Is that a Hedron Grinder? Valor in Akros. There you go. <laughs> Will Bender. Okay. And Decree of Justice. That sounds familiar. What is that? Uh, two I two and XX create X four four angels of flying. Uh, if you cycle it, you may pay X, and then you create X one one white soldiers. Hmm. Blue Elemental Blast. That's a popper classic. <laughs> and a lightning, lightning bolt. bolt. Another one. Promise of Bun Ray. Hell's Caretaker. That was one of the first cards I ever got. Ooh, and the foil in the last pack was a Loyal Sentry. Whatever. Treasure Keeper foil. This mm. pack. That's not bad. I think the Pact of Negation is probably the most valuable thing we've pulled so far. Yeah. Unless that foil Rurik is worth something, but I don't think he is. Street Wraith? Oh, nice. Those are worth some money. Really? Uncommon? Yep. Huh. Because you can cycle him for two life, and then he's in the graveyard, and you can bring him back uh, with graveyard recursion. Fierce Empath. Anything where you don't have to pay mana to get a, an effect is usually good. One of my favorite cards, Pyroplasm. Hmm. And a Reef Worm. Yeah, that thing sucks. <laughs> I, I think it's funny. Hmm. Uh, a blue and three. When Reef Worm dies, create a 3-3 three, three fish that has, when this creature dies, create a 6-6 six, six blue whale that has, <laughs> when this creature dies, create a 9-9 nine, nine blue kraken. <laughs> How have you not played with that? <laughs> What was the foil in that one? Uh, it was a primal play. It's just a common. Another red elemental blast. Oh, no, wait, it was blue before, so that's two of them now, apparently. I think there is only the two. Is there only the two? Yeah, I don't no. think there are. I thought there was a green one. <sighs> Maybe. I think pink. there is only the red and blue. Another Kavu. Ooh! We had a Doomsday. Hmm. Doomsday is good, but I don't think it's worth anything. No, but it is our first mythic. Cinderstorm. Seven damage for seven mana. How average. Yeah. No. Of course, there's the normal <laughs> one. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right. Ooh, another Blightning. Come on, baby Jace. Ah, swords. Classic. One of the best removal spells in the game. Zulaport Cutthroat. Ah. I play one of those in my zombie commander deck. And Elvis Piper. 
Elvis, Elvis Piper is good. Elvis. <laughs> well, he sang, so I guess he didn't play pipe, but Cougar is the foil. It's common. <laughs> Anybody remembers this started life as Timmy Power Gamer from the original Unset. Okay. And then they actually printed it. Ancient Craving. Ancient Stirrings. Ancient Stirrings is good for Tron decks. Mm. Ooh, how fitting. Murder of Crows. Hmm? Ooh, Fetid Heath. Another filter land. These are holding their value at 10 bucks. We've got a couple already. All right. And Foil Uncommon Zada Headrun Grinder. How much is Jace going for right now? I don't know. The Masters 25 version? I have no idea. Over 50, I think. Really? That's impressive. Well, he's really fucking good. Yeah, but it's He's by far the best card in the set. Yeah, I suppose. Conming Sleeping Dragon. Twisted Image. Ooh, Moros Charm. Is it Chemister? Hmm. Or Chemister? Chemister. <laughs> Nizumi Cutthroat. Staying with the guy who looks a little like Thoros. <laughs> I mean Thanos. Thanos, yes, not Thoros. <laughs> Thoros is a set of magic. I know. <laughs> I Thanos does kind of look like Stang. <laughs> I know. <laughs> did you do it? Yes. Purple? What did it cost you? Everything. Everything. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Protector, Merfolk Looter, you know, Vesuvian Shapeshifter. Hmm, okay. And time Spiral. Oh, good. Something that creates fucking elf tokens. Ambassador or Oak is our foil there. Alright, that's out of the way. Corson Tusker, Enthralling Victor, Fallen Angel, hmm. what? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> oh, you bastard. <laughs> Fuck you, Tree of Redemption. I'm just going to stick in my shirt, but okay. Renewed Faith Foil. Another blue. Another lightning. Myriad Landscape. Oh! Yeah. Blood Moon. Blood Moon is back. Yep. It's actually worth something, I think. Not a ton, because it's been reprinted to hell and back. Yeah, but. it has. But I do like the artwork on it. Hortling Outburst is the foil there. Deadly Designs. Oh, Bug Blazer. Quicksand. And Rat Catcher. Hmm. And a Foil Dark Ritual. Hmm. Actually, I wonder if that's actually worth anything. I, I don't know, but I want to check. Our group tends to play that a lot.
All right, angelic page again, freed from the real. Hmm. All right, lower skill Kotal. Yeah. Blue Sun's Zenith. <laughs> and Quicksilver Dagger, Foil hmm. and Common. The foils actually look pretty good in this side. Yeah, at least. this is actually quite nice. You can definitely tell. Another ancient stirrings. Browbeat. Nyx fleece ram. Hmm. And Hana ship's navigator. Hmm. Okay. She's not bad. Knowledge. Right, we're getting down here. Another Valor. Yeah, our exclude. Humble Defector. Hmm. And Brian Stout Arm. Yeah. <laughs> and a Thresher Lizard is the foil. Ooh, this face looks nice. I can show that off more. And a uh, Stout Arm can be good in certain situations. Uh, Sack a creature and deal damage equal to power. Mistress Factory. Okay. That's actually not that bad. I don't think it's worth anything, but... No. It's, but it's, that was actually a good reprint for the set. Like, it's an iconic card. Ancient it's card not maybe. worth a ton. And Utopia Sprawl. I'm like, fucking Tree of Redemption. Kidding? You're so mad about that. Oh, we got a foil Valor. It doesn't even make sense. Acroma, Angel of Fury. Ooh. I'm actually building a uh, Angel Commander deck, so I think she's going to go in there. Oh. <laughs> the Tree of Redemption makes no sense, because they also reprinted Triskaidekaphobia, which makes you lose the game if you have 13 life. <laughs> they should have printed Tree of Perdition, which makes one of your enemies have 13 life. And then you can play Triskaidekaphobia, and they fucking lose. One of our friends plays that to very good effect most of the time. One of those. Oh, Will of the Wisp. That's another iconic card that was good. a good reprint, I think. Rancor. And Plague Wind. Rare oh, Man. yeah. I remember Plague Wind. I remember when it came out, and that was like, Wow! Destroy all creatures you don't control? Wow, amazing! I went, that was when, like, the biggest board wipe was Wrath of God still, back oh, then. Man. Cloud shift for the foil. Spear looks good. Down to last board. I wonder how much Ultra Pro pays to have that little advertisement card in the back. Like a shitload of money. No. Oh. Thoros is back. Thanos? <laughs> you know, I did that on purpose, actually, because I also realized that Thoros is in Game of Thrones, and that's where I was bringing it in from. Hey, there's a good one. Swiftfoot boots. They're always welcome. Caustic tar. And fortune thief. Is the rare. Mm. Hmm. Epic conf confrontation foil. Common. Yeah. All right. This is just a common, but I think the name is funny. Borrowing a hundred thousand arrows. <laughs> yeah, that's from uh, Portal Three Kingdoms. <laughs> Fuck that, Longo. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. That's the special portal set that was never released in America. There's a few oh, cards of that in here. Birdhatch Natuko? The most famous one is Imperial Recruiter. Sigh of the Shinobi. A mesmeric Fiend. Bertian Hulk. Hmm. Search your library for any number of creature cards with total converted mana cost six or less and put them onto the battlefield. That's could that can be a good commander card too. Coil. Eisen Shade. There's another classic card then. Eisen Shade is what I would have said, but yeah. The other problem. You never actually quite know how they <laughs> meant, meant for these to all be pronounced. Well, you read it and you never hear anybody else say it, so you get a pronunciation stuck in your head and you say that for the rest of your life. Another one of those. I always say Eisen Shade, just like I always say Nevinrel's Disc when I hear almost everybody else say Nevinrel's or some other variation on that. I always say oh, Nevinrel's. Really? Wow. I would have thought Nevinrel's as well. Shadow Mage Infiltrator. Oh, Ravnica. We got a regular Treasure Keeper. All right. And a foil disfigure. Ooh. That is nice foiling. Yeah, look at a foil on a guy's face. <laughs> Magus of the Wheel. Is rare. Okay. Oops. Last pack. Last pack. The dumpster fire's burning out, everybody. Yeah, it, it hit a pocket of gas with that stupid tree, but. Ooh, there we go. Another boots. All right. Street Wraith. No, all right, sweet. This might be the best pack we've opened. Quick <laughs> Silver Dagger. Okay. I don't think that's bad. Oh, we have a Living Wish and a Living Wish Foil. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't, I don't think I've ever seen that happen. You may choose a creature or land card you own from outside the game. Reveal that card and put it in your hand. Exile Living Wish. Living Wish. <laughs> I, that's amazing there's the foil one if you see the foiling on the wings and the lady in the background alright so we're going to pause a second here and scan what we got I don't think we made any money but we're going to look anyway yeah. alright we're back we just scanned all the cards these are all the cards that were worth more than two dollars uh, with the exception of these two these are honorable mentions just because they are commons the Dark Ritual is worth two and change. The Counter Spell was worth almost two. Blood Moon was $20. Of course, Blood still Moon is still value. a modern must have, basically. The uh, filter lands have gone down, actually. They were, yeah. what, like five and six? Uh, one was like three, and the other was, I think, seven. Pact of Negation has gone down. Well, from last I time I checked it, that's only, what, nine bucks now? Yeah, it was under ten. So, yeah, we way did not make money because, just so you know, we bought this box back six months ago yep. when they were still, what, 160 a box? Uh, I think we got it for 150 or maybe even 145 So, no, it must have been more than that because they're still, they're 130 today. Are they? Or 140 today, I okay. mean. So. We did get a discount on it, I think, because we bought a half a case, I think we did. And then spread them out between us and our friends, but... Yeah, we definitely lost money. I think we did all the rares, and it was like 77 bucks total. Screw you, wizards. All right, that wraps up the Masters 25 Dumpster Fire. Say bye, honeybee. Bye, honeybee. Those are some killer bees.